hello everyone and welcome back to my channel as you can probably see from the title this video is not really fun it's not really a debunk i plan on doing a debunk on sleeping warriors stupid comments and if you're interested in this please let me know down in the comments i i'd like to do a debunk on him because his theory on flat earth and what the globe earth is has changed drastically and I think that could be a fun video but this video is more of a warning because this video is directed at people that have children that are on TikTok or maybe you are on TikTok or you have friends or your friends kids nieces nephews everyone who knows impressionable people that are on TikTok because this flat earther, sleeping warrior, aka Anthony Riley, in his own words, targets children. And he mentioned this on one of his friend's YouTube videos. And I want to share his comments with you. We're gonna read them together. And I also will record a TikTok making people aware of this thing because it's actually quite scary. A friend of mine and a subscriber sent me the screenshots and I immediately went out on a hunt for this thread and I found it. And that is what we're gonna watch today. So these comments are on Fletzoid FE's channel on the video Convert Today. I sorted the comments by new and you have to scroll down a little bit. And the thread is under a comment from Rune Thorsen. They wrote, I don't even know a single person who changed their mind after Shane revealed his true colors. The first response was from Sleeping Warrior. He's a very known flat earther. He likes to call other people weird things regarding children. That's why his comment that you will see in just a second is extremely concerning. So he wrote, I don't believe that they are his true colors. He simply sold out. He'll tell them gravity is a force if they pay him. That will be a topic of the debunk I do on him because he still thinks, oh, gravity is not really a force, therefore gravity can't exist. Stupid. And Fred Dip. So you don't see the viewing figures going down on the flood conspiracy theory. The flatulence leaving your sinking ship, blah, blah, blah. And then the concerning part begins. I see them going down on YouTube. Yes, TikTok is where it's at now. Lots of children on there we are targeting. YouTube is dead because of censorship. If it were really a ball, censorship would not be necessary. So that was the first screenshot I got sent to and it is really concerning. Lots of children on there we are targeting. First, with the word we, he's implying that there are multiple people, which is already concerning but the word targeting in context with children in a sentence is regardless of the context kind of concerning i think it implies that he and other flat earthers go on the internet and try to convince kids that the earth is flat and it is very manipulative but it doesn't end here. Mr. Victory's radio responded and said, seriously, that was a weird thing to say. Targeting children. That's a little sus, don't you think? And Sleeping Warrior responded with, no more sus than locking them in safe premises. Whilst they are brainwashed by bullshit that parents have no idea what they are being fed. We know they are not told there are better scientific explanations instead of gravity. So first of all, just to a little bit debunk. Yes, children are not really told that gravity isn't a force. I actually debunked this in a video responding to Sleeping Warrior that it would be so dumb to explain to 10 or 11 year olds the concept of space-time's curvature and all of those really abstract things that sometimes adults struggle educated adults struggle to understand it because it's a weird concept to think about. So for children, most of the time they've been told, yes, we see gravity as a force, but there's much more behind it. But for our context, we view it as this. Also, there are no better scientific explanations than gravity. Gravity is has been proven. It maybe doesn't fit the weird obstructed idea that you have about science so he goes on saying 
That's brainwashing. I've been targeting the kids for years. If you think that sounds dodgy, it suggests more about you than it does me, mate. So the guy who accuses teachers and other educators and just debunkers of being inappropriate with children now says, hey, when it when you think it's weird, it's it says more about you than about me. So him accusing other people of those inappropriate things says technically also more about him. Guess that's a cell phone. And it's why people are so weirded out by you saying those things because people have exactly that in their brains when thinking about you because you throw that around you accuse everyone else around of those things so it says more about you according to your own words so when they're told that gravity isn't a force and that f equals mg always results in weightlessness because anything times zero equals zero yeah but gravity is not zero but okay always results in weightlessness and then shown them the egg test oh the famous egg they instantly get it and they're shown how the school crosswire them with Newton I literally hotwire that crosswiring and send them back to their teacher to ask why they aren't told about Einstein and RDD and when they say their teachers don't know that's his job to teach the syllabus. They realize they're only being taught a partisan indoctrination. They all get it too. Mass times zero equals zero. You blur first. <sighs> Anthony, stop it. No one, no one will ever use that word besides you. You globers don't even get it. That's the problem with brainwashing. You don't even realize you're brainwashed. You think you are all wise and intelligent, but an, but an 11 year old can corner you without trying now. So Sleeping Warrior here admits that he asks them very specific manipulative questions. He lies to them by saying, hey, gravity isn't a thing, therefore gravity has to be zero. Therefore, this thing cannot work. So he uses a wrong premise uses a formula that has nothing to do with his idea of reality his idea of reality it has nothing to do with actual reality but he uses science that disproves him switches it around saying gravity is zero and then says see when you calculate it like this everything must be weightless therefore Everyone with half a brain could see those manipulations. But children on TikTok don't know. Their critical thinking is not developed. Your critical thinking might be developed until you're 25. And even then, obviously, like him, people don't have critical thinking skills anyways. So when he goes around targets children on TikTok, and TikTok anyways has the problem that people believe anything they see on TikTok, and he uses that to manipulate children into believing in flat earth, that is f dangerous. He uses so obvious tactics to manipulate children that that should be illegal. But it goes on. Best thing is we are on there and applying the troll tactics learned on YouTube. We act as children and talk about how our teacher was concerned when we asked him these questions. So you scummy trolls will never be able to find us. It's beautiful. When the time comes, you will realize it's us. But right now, just know that we are all over TikTok and telling the kids how Newton is not science anymore. That Einstein is and both are false dichotomy and correlative only. The act test is getting around, the kids get it instantly. That is Anthony Riley, a guy who claims to has been studying law, so he should at least know right from wrong, not even morally because that is not a debate here. He doesn't know it. But just legally, he should know what is right or wrong. He says he applies literal tactics with his guys on TikTok. Troll tactics. So he basically admits he and his people go on TikTok, 
making sock accounts posing as children. So we as debunker ha have basically no chance finding out who they are online to call them out properly. They pose as children on TikTok to manipulate and brainwash our youth so they can fall into their kind of cult of flat earth. It is absolutely disgusting and despicable. And frankly, it is terrifying that a grown ass man is so proud online that he goes on TikTok, poses as a child and manipulates our children. How is this legal? How is this okay? Mr. Victory's radio replied to that, wow, all that BS and you still didn't get what targeting children implies. Are you really that dense about your words? I guess you are not a parent. All you wrote is not credible. A normal guy doesn't use targeting. Your own words showed your true colors. Your mindset and behavior, what you said was simply cultish. And I 100% agree. No grown man should describe their own actions as targeting children or known grown adult not even just because i bet there are women in this i hope reggie i hope you are not part of this because if so we have a problem because that is disgusting and that is something that i can promise you me and all of our community won't let that stand right there without doing all we can to change that. It is cultish because these are cult tactics to target children, to go online and pose as normal, to pose as, in his case, a child and say, oh my God, our, my teacher was so taken aback when we asked this question. That is manipulation at its finest top shelf bullshit so sleeping warrior once again responded with no more targeting than the average teacher again the fact that you don't understand and assume something very different simply tells me you would rather use an implied intention to demonize than address the issue directly the issue anthony is you you as a person and your mindset you and your essence are the problem the word targeting, yes, it implies horrible shit. But even if you didn't say the sentence with the word targeting in it, it still is despicable posing as children online to gain their trust, to lure them into your world that is nothing worth on this earth. You are worthless and you know it because if you would have any faith in you and your idea, you as you would say, wouldn't even have to do this. You claim, oh, if Earth wasn't flat, why everyone needed to do the censorship? Why, if you're right, you do need to go online on the internet posing as a child? If you are right in what you're saying, why don't you trust the process in just spreading awareness why do you have to lie why do you have to lie and target children to get your point across that is the problem honey that's okay we know you will all do that but as a parent you should be appreciating what is being done by us because your child is being indoctrinated with pseudoscience okay anthony you are the one indoctrinating i mean okay Let's just compare that. When a child goes to school, yes, people will teach your child in school about science, actual science, the ones by scientists, but they are allowed to do the maths themselves. They are allowed to do so many different experiments to just so they can experience the science more so than just being told what to do. You, on the other hand, go on the internet, undercover, posing as a child, lying to children, brainwashing them. You give them wrong implications of science, wrong ideas about science. You lie to them and then you send them to teachers. And when they come back, you say, see, that's what I told you. Because Earth is flat. 
you are manipulating them you are the one indoctrinating them because if you would be so sure about the validity of flat earth you wouldn't feel the need to go on the internet and lie and pose as a child you wouldn't feel the need to go on the internet wow look how big my balls are look what i'm doing you know what you are showing that you don't have any balls that your pee pee is this big that's why you need now approval and attention from children are you even listening are you reading what you are spewing on the internet you are actual scum so let's read the fucking rest of the comment oh no i know you refuse to accept this but it does not change the fact children should at least be getting told that newton is no longer the current science and that there are opposing views from einstein at the very least at the very least you should actually know by now that einstein didn't oppose anyone especially not newton he just added more details and added an explanation for the observation that newton has done again the observation is still the same what changed is the explanation why this observation is made now we know there's not just an attraction of two masses but that the attraction of two masses is caused by gravity the bending of space-time that's it you are the liar the schools are lying by omission hiding the inconvenient science do you really think being taught lies is okay no one is being taught lies except for the children you lie at on tiktok no one is being taught lies except for the children on tiktok you are lying to so yeah that is what i wanted to share because it's important that someone talks about this and there are already videos on this up on youtube from our community and i'm pretty sure there will be more coming in the next few days but still please share the video share the videos of someone else i don't care but people need to know about this parents need to know about this and parents need to teach their children to not believe other kids when they say stuff like this i hope we can at some point find out who these people are posing as but until then we need parents and adults in those children's lives to tell them to explain to them that those people are on the internet that those people are on tiktok posing as one of them and just try to manipulate them and try to lie to them for their own gain basically because doing this and then be so proud about it online is absolutely despicable i have no words for how wrong that is and if you have any idea what we as a community can do about it besides spreading awareness about this please let me know down in the comments i and probably all of the creators and viewers in this community will be able or will be willing to do anything we can to stop this from happening so i hope you did like this video as far as you can like shit like this but if so please leave a like and a subscribe please again share this video with people who know people who are on tiktok especially who know people that are this young and are on tiktok because we need to stop this because that is actually wrong thank you so so for much well, thank you so so much for watching i hope i will see you in the next one this will be just an additional video so i will upload three videos this week because that here just wasn't planned and i hope i will see you in just a few short days for the next one bye